Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm very excited to introduce to you a new way to animate in Creature, and this is with the brand new Custom Cycle Milter. Now, before I begin, I'd like to talk a bit about the Creature Animation System, and I'm sure a lot of you know that Creature is based off a procedural animation method. That is, you install a bunch of procedural motors that perform different tasks like physics or rotations or IK, and you go about you know, animating your character. Now, that's not to say that Creature couldn't do manual animation. In fact, as all of you know as well, when you set up your rig, Creature is already set up for manual FK animation or manual IK animation, so you can go in and just keyframe it all you want. However, uh, you probably also know that manual animation is a bit tedious, and procedural animation is actually very, very powerful and allows you to do a whole range of behavior. However, procedural animation is kind of limited, right, in a sense, because manual animation gives you the full degrees of motion on how you want to define your actual style of animation. There are certain custom styles that procedural motors just aren't able to replicate. And because of that, you just have to go to have to go into Creature and manually animate those kinds of styles or motion. Now, what if we could actually combine a way that is we could actually allow you to craft your own custom motors? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be very powerful? That is, what if you could actually sort of record and capture your custom manual animation and then replicate it, tweak it, scale it, speed it up, slow it down, do all sorts of cool stuff just like regular molters onto a bunch of other bones. Now that is exactly what the custom cycle molter is. It's essentially a molter system that allows you to capture your own custom animation and then apply it to a set of other similar bones. And you can also use it like a regular cycle molter. That is, it's actually going to automatically loop those custom animations for you and that has a huge advantage over just manually keyframing because you get now the best of both worlds you get the full control of manual keyframe animation right because it's really your own capture data your own capture animation data but at the same time you also get the full power of creatures procedural motor system that is you can actually easily loop your animations there's very few keys almost you know uh, very minimal set of keys to deal with and you can easily speed up slow down your custom manual keyframe cycles okay so this is an example of what the custom cycle motor is capable of doing so in this case the legs have a very funny robotic walk because this is like a, a robotic bird or crane like character you notice that i've on purpose, actually manually an animated the legs with a sort of strange robotic wiggle motion because it's like a robotic leg trying to place itself on the ground, right? And so this kind of motion is very stylized and you probably won't be able to replicate it fully with a procedural motor system. And this is where the custom cycle motor comes in. So in this project, I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to use the power of the custom cycle motor. Okay, so to start off, let's open up the default animation. And let me show you what it is. So I play it, you notice that really there is only just a single cycle of a leg, right? And let me just open up another one for you just to demonstrate this again. So, okay, there you go. So there's two things going on here. Ignore the wings and the tail. That's driven by the procedural motor system. But pay close attention to this leg and also the head over here. Okay, if I step through the frames, you notice that the head bobs up the leg does a single lift, lift off and touchdown. Basically a, a simple walk cycle, simple strange like robotic wiggle walk cycle. See how it wiggles about as it touches the ground? Okay, and but it's just a single cycle and that's it. So you're probably wondering what's, what's the point? What's the use of this? Well, this is where the custom cycle motor comes in. So the first thing we're gonna do is to capture the motion, the custom motion from the leg motion and the head motion, okay? So let's take a look. So as you can see here, I've actually keyframed a couple of knots over here, right? So you noticed I've keyframed about 40 frames, right? So the leg has 40 frames of animation, keyframe animation, and it basically goes from zero to 40, okay? And so I'm stepping through the frames, it rotates and does its custom walk, single walk cycle, a single cycle of the walk cycle. 
so to speak. All right. OK, cool. And if we take a look at the head, we have the same thing over here. It's only really just 10 frames. It just bobs forward and backwards. OK, so there's a single cycle of that, too. OK, so once we're done with that, what do we do? Well, we want to capture these three bones, right? So we multi-select these bones, OK? And then we click on the Animate menu. And now we go to Capture Animation. So click on that. And so now I already have a bunch of capture animations. Let's remove them. OK, let's just start from the beginning. So let's call this Leg Capture. OK, and I know I'm going to capture 40 frames of it. So let's put 40 in and click Add. Right. Now let's do the same for the head as well. So click on the head. All right, same thing. Now it's only 10 frames, right? We only have 10 frames of animation for the head. OK, so now click on Animate. Click on Capture Animation. Let's call it Head Bounce. OK, and 0 to 10. Now click Add. Cool. OK, now that's done. Now let's open up another clip. OK, that I've cleared out most of the animation for you. Let's play it. OK, so the, the crane is just, the bird is just bouncing up and down. The robotic crane is just bouncing up and down. OK, so nothing, nothing really interesting. Now for the magic. Let's apply the custom cycle motor. So select the legs, those three bones, install motor, pick custom cycle motor. OK, if you play it, nothing happens because we haven't done anything yet. OK, so the next thing we're going to do, move your mouse to animation data. Click on the button over here. It's blank. Now click leg capture. Select that, click OK, and I'll play. Ah, look at that. Your leg is actually moving, actually playing an automatic looping, that custom keyframe animation that I just made a couple of moments ago. That's pretty cool, right? And we can actually customize this now. We can actually move it down by changing the displacement, for example. Oh, that's a bit too much. Let's try negative two. OK. Maybe still too much. Let's try negative one. OK. So you can basically move it. I think that's still too much. Let's try the 0.5. OK, there you go. You can move it. You can also change the speed. You can change it to 5, so it actually moves slower. Or you can make it faster. Let's try 20. Right? You can see how powerful this is. We're basically treating your manually captured keyframe animation as a cycle motor animation. So it's fully proceduralized now, which is very, very powerful, very cool. Let's do the same thing for the other leg. OK, so same thing here. Install motor. Click on custom cycle motor. And let's change the speed to 20. We had it the same. And oh, sorry, I didn't select the animation. So let capture. There you go. OK, <laughs> so they're moving in unison. That's pretty cool. Of course, as you know, just like the other cycle motors, we want to make go make, make them out of phase, out of sync to have a walk cycle, right? So we just change the phase, say, to 0.5. And now. There you go. We have our fully keyframed, manually keyframed, captured animation playing in a custom cycle motor. So this is our fully manual animation, but playing as a procedural motor. Very, very powerful. So you're essentially creating your own motor animations right here. OK, so we're done with that. Now let's do the head. Same deal. Let's install the motor. Click on custom cycle motor. All right. And let's pick head bounce. Let's see what we get. Uh, let's change the speed to 20. <laughs> OK, that's kind of funny. Now you notice it's going a bit, acting a bit weird because the angles are wrong, but don't worry. And also the displacement is wrong. So let's just move it forward. So let's change the Y and the X displacement. So this allows you to actually fit your custom animation to the right spot, right? Let's, uh, let's do it a bit further forward. It's a bit too fast. All right. OK. And now we can also, let's set the, let's set the uh, pin rope motor. So let's give it more like a rope type action on the neck. So let's select pin rope motor. OK. And then the other final trick we're going to do is going to make the rope actually follow the head. So we click on Animate again, and then we say Apply Bone Tracking. And I know that the head is Bone 7, right? So I'm just going to select Bone 7, and I say Track. And so there you go. Now we actually have a funny robot bobbing bird, right?
that's pretty cool. I can tweak a couple of things here. Let's tweak the stiffness, up the damping, and let's change the angle. Let's see, I want to make it higher. All right, it's the bird's tilting. There you go. Okay, so there you go. And so with a couple of tweaks, we actually have a funny robotic walking crane. Let me turn off the bone so you can actually appreciate the animation in its entirety. There you go. That's pretty cool. And that's our robotic walking bird right there. Yeah. So, okay. So in summary, the custom cycle motor is a very, very powerful motor that allows you to capture your own custom manually keyframe animation and then apply it as a regular procedural cycle motor in Creature. So all the controls of displacement, scaling, speed, phase are available to you, plus the flexibility of you keyframing your own custom animation is also included. So you get the best of both worlds. So I hope you fully utilize this motor because I think you find it very, very useful, especially for all the people, manual animators out there who really, really want to have a specific stylized motion, but still want the benefits and full power of Creature's procedural animation system. The custom cycle motor is definitely something you should be looking at. Thanks for watching and happy animating.